Joshua, chapter 11. And it comes to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor hears, that he sends to Jobab king of Maiden, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Aksaph, and to the kings who are on the north in the hill country, and in the plain south of Chinneroth, and in the low country, and in the elevations of Dor on the west, to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and the Amorite and the Hittite, and the Perizzite and the Jebusite in the hill country, and the Hivite unto Hermon in the land of Mizpah. And they go out, they and all their camps with them, a people numerous as the sand which is on the seashore for multitude, and with very many horse and charioteer. And all these kings are met together, and they come and encamp together at the waters of Merom to fight with Israel. And Yahweh says to Joshua, Do not be afraid of their presence, for about this time tomorrow I am giving all of them slain before Israel, hamstring their horses and burn their chariots with fire. And Joshua comes and all the people of war with him against them by the waters of Merom, and they suddenly fall on them. And Yahweh gives them into the hand of Israel, and they strike them and pursue them to the great Sidon and to Mishrapoth Maim and to the valley of Mizpah eastward, and they strike them until he has not left a remnant to them. And Joshua does to them as Yahweh commanded to him. He has hamstrung their horses and burned their chariots with fire. And Joshua turns back at that time and captures Hazor, and he has struck its king by the sword, for Hazor was formerly head of all these kingdoms. And they strike every person who is in it by the mouth of the sword. He has devoted, he has not left anyone breathing, and he has burned Hazor with fire. And all the cities of these kings, and all their kings, Joshua has captured. And he strikes them by the mouth of the sword. He devoted them, as Moses, servant of Yahweh, commanded. Only all the cities which are standing by their hill, Israel has not burned them, except Joshua has burned Hazor only. And all the spoil of these cities and the livestock, the sons of Israel have spoiled for themselves. Only they have struck every man by the mouth of the sword until they're destroying them. They have not left anyone breathing. As Yahweh commanded his servant Moses, so Moses commanded Joshua, and so Joshua has done. He has not turned aside a thing of all that Yahweh commanded Moses. And Joshua takes all this land, the hill country and all the south, and all the land of Goshen and the low country and the plain, even the hill country of Israel and its lowlands, from the mount of Halak, which is going up to Seir, and to Baal God, in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And he has captured all their kings, and he strikes them and puts them to death. Joshua has made war with all these kings for many days. There has not been a city which made peace with the sons of Israel except the Hivite, inhabitants of Gibeon. They have taken the whole in battle. For it has been from Yahweh to strengthen their heart, to meet in battle with Israel in order to devote them, so that they have no grace, but in order to destroy them, as Yahweh commanded Moses. And Joshua comes at that time and cuts off the Anakim from the hill country, from Hebron, from Debir, from Anab, and from all the hill country of Judah, and from all the hill country of Israel. Joshua has devoted them with their cities. There has not been Anakim left in the land of the sons of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod were they left. And Joshua takes the whole of the land, according to all that Yahweh has spoken to Moses. And Joshua gives it for an inheritance to Israel, according to their divisions, by their tribes. And the land has rest from war.